There are a lot of projects that I've accomplished that I think could be really valuable to share with the world since my last upload to YouTube. And I've really wanted to put it off, uh, editing and uploading these projects to help you guys out, until I was able to manufacture stainless steel roofing, which is what I would like to do uh, as a living. I would like to use the videos to advertise that. I'm not ready to manufacture stainless steel roofing yet. It is still my goal, but it really hurts me not to share this stuff with the world. And so I'm going to make a little concession and give this video to you guys. This is an air filter housing. I built it out of an aluminum toolbox, and I believe that this product could, if manufactured, have a fairly large impact on further improving the quality of life in this country and around the world. What we've got here, this front screen may be entirely useless, in this household anyway. We do typically have a cat living in this house, so I thought that it might collect cat hair. But also to that effect, I elected to raise it off the ground. I'm sorry my house is ugly but that's just how it is. And when you raise it off the ground, the, the cat hair doesn't really make it in there. So nothing's really collected in this washable aluminum screening. They do make stainless screening, but even on eBay for like all the cheap deals, it's about three times as expensive. So the important part here is not this screening. So the important thing here, the important thing that could be the future that is here is that we've got a washable MERV 15 air filter with the potential to have a clean uh, air resistance of under 0.1 inches of water column, which is the typical desired specification, uh, engineered specification for air filters when a standard central air conditioning manufacturing company designs their unit for a house, they typically allot 0.1 inches of water column of air resistance through that air filter. There was like a survey done in California and they checked out the resistance as uh, various air filters that were actually in people's homes and they were averaging about 0.17 inches of water column in their dirty state. This system right here achieves 0.14. It was an experiment and it didn't fail too bad and the air resistance, resistance in my ducting, which a typical allotment for is 0.4 inches of water column. I'm probably clearing that. It's probably within spec. It's probably not all that important. And because I upgraded my central air conditioning system to be a package unit, which is $2,350 uh, for a gas three-ton package unit shipped to my house, uh, that's a pretty good deal for something that is brazed and assembled in the factory instead of at your house by who knows what kind of technician. Back to the subject. MERV 15 washable air filtration. You can build this. It's a lot of work right now and you can build this to have under 0.1 inches probably of water column because the, the two filters that are located behind these aluminum screens are about 64 square feet of surface area each of that MERV 15 uh, filtration medium, whereas the company now offers in a similarly sized package uh, like something around 90 square feet of surface area, which will significantly increase the flow rate and decrease the air resistance through the filter medium. So probably two of those doubled up could be within spec. Now that's expensive. Let's open this up. The details of construction of this unit are not necessarily that important for you or anyone, but maybe they are. But purpose of this video is to maybe encourage you to actually start manufacturing this product because it doesn't really exist. There's one company in Canada that's producing these air filters. I'll show you now. This is basically like sort of a spring-loaded uh, pressurization unit to pressurize these filters. You can definitely see that some dust has accumulated over the last six months or so of use. They used to be pretty darn white. Ooh, wow, it looks dustier on the opposite side. We've got uh, what looks like 3 8 inch by 1 and a quarter inch uh, gasket material from Home Depot. It is around here. It was quite complicated to construct this. So you're probably not going to actually want to build this unless you want to manufacture something that's actually more suitable. 
uh, for ease of construction and installation because it really was quite laborious. But yeah, this is this is the Mer 15 filter, not clean. Got a little, I made a little pocket up here. You compare the color of that to the color of this to know when to wash it. The estimated time between washings assuming two filters in parallel not a single filter one and a half years and it looks like that might actually be fairly accurate now these filters are rated for four washings and i don't know if the resistance increases at that point or decreases at that point if the filtration uh, is perhaps somewhat inadequate to m match mer 15 at that point or maybe it's too resistant why is it only rated for four washings is that for warranty issues i don't know the important takeaway here is that materials do exist which would accomplish the following purpose and would definitely improve quality of life but it's got good filtration low resistance and the ongoing maintenance costs aren't that high and if you can continue to wash these for years and years and years not only are the maintenance costs going to be lower but it's going to be less complicated to own to own a home with cleaner interior air. So that is an improvement to quality of life that I believe that people would pay for. These particular filters are four inches thick. To get housings for central air units to house these kinds of units, it's really hard. I, I didn't succeed. So that's why I had to build something. Now, what clean rooms have and what I believe that these filtration housings should have aside from being actually built into like between the joists and maybe in inside wall cavities aside from being located in a, a more out of the way place than this that kind of just stuck in a convenient spot you should have like a clean room a magnahelic gauge this measures the difference in air pressure between in this case just ambient air between the testing tube thing now this testing tube ideally should be in the center, I believe, and past where all the air enters so that you have all of the air kind of flowing over that tube. I'm not like an engineer, but that's my impression. It should be kind of in the middle there for the best readings. But reading this gauge, you can know when the filters are dirty. You don't have to rely on the color chart. And you can, over time, as these things deteriorate or whatever happens to them over time, and you don't want to damage your central air conditioning equipment by whatever the, the cause of failure that occurs when there's too much resistance in the system. Apparently being the root cause of 75% of haulouts for service, which are horribly expensive. You can know whether or not you have too much resistance here. Now, this thing should be mounted in an easier to read location but I didn't want to actually buy tubing, so I was just being in a hurry. So it turned into this kind of hack job, but these magnahelic gauges that don't run on electronics, they're like physical, reliable, simple, and um, this brand, I forget what it is, uh, is well regarded. This is like 35 bucks on eBay, and I think the normal eBay price is like 50 bucks. So yeah, this is an aluminum toolbox, it's like 20, and a half inches wide or something and it was a real pain in the butt so somebody should manufacture these and perhaps you are able to begin that process i believe it would be a marketable product and i believe it would improve uh, quality of if it became a thing but currently it's definitely not a thing but washable like low maintenance high filtration that respects the air resistance specifications of your system another thing about why you want to keep low air resistance resistance it'll have less like vacuum pressure against your ducts so that any leaks in your ducts suck fewer fibrous materials through your ductwork into your central air conditioning coils which will clog up those coils so yeah you don't want that you want to keep your coils real clean that'll help improve the efficiency of your air conditioning unit while protecting your health I don't know of any like higher filtration washable air filters than this MERV 15 filtration system. And I've looked into HEPA filters and it seems like you would need 24 cubic feet of HEPA, HEPA filtration medium in order to match the air resistance uh, to under 0.1 inches of water column and it's not washable. So it doesn't seem like a, a feasible thing, but this seems like perhaps the best solution for you. Now what we've got here, this is a company in Canada. 
and they're charging like 160 bucks for a filter and you have to pay for international shipping and these filters aren't consistently sized unfortunately so building a housing for them really sucks and the edges aren't flat so you, you would need wide flanges like this in order to ensure if you build like a rectangular box that the entirety of the flange has a seal and that so that the air actually goes through the actual filter instead of around the filter so yeah, there's a lot of disadvantages to actually like building a housing as is and there's definitely research that will need to take place if you're going to manufacture something that is going to be continually washable like a permanent but high efficiency or high efficiency of catching particles air filter but they say that sub 0.3 microns or something sizes of particles that these things actually catch can work their way directly into your bloodstream and if that's true that's a legitimate hazard so given the lower ongoing costs the ease of monitoring and the improved quality of life i think that this could probably be the future